Magnets can seem pretty mysterious. Their behavior is explained by Maxwell's equation. Here is an interesting video that explains magnetism as being the result of electricity and the theory of relativity. This means that negative charges are more concentrated than positive ones. And that means that the wire now has a net negative electric charge. Sounds all cool, so let's add some numbers to it. If we run about 13 and a half amperes through a wire with a cross section of one square millimeter, we can calculate that the average electron drift velocity is one millimeter per second. Using the Lorentz transformation, we can see that this would result in an apparent net charge of, well, that number that you see there. With that, we can calculate the force between two such wires and see that we are 22 orders of magnitude off. However, we can correct this by dividing the electrons into two groups. One is stationary, the other, much smaller group, is moving at a velocity slightly over one quarter of the speed of light. This produces the correct number. However, we can apply the exact same line of reasoning to a stationary charge outside of this current carrying wire. A small metal sphere charged to 20 kV should feel about 10 times the force we just calculated between the two wires. This is not happening, and therefore invalidates this theory. There are two more small issues that I have with this video. First, it is presented as if relativity, or Einstein, saved the day. In reality, it is Lorentz with his Lorentz transformations. These were originally based on Lorentz's theory of the ether. But today, these are attributed to Einstein and seen as evidence for his theory, or worse, to disprove the existence of the ether. Second, Maxwell's equations, which are these and not these, are based on a model of the ether in which magnetism has a cause completely separate from electricity. We see praise for Maxwell and Lorentz while ignoring the foundations of their work, or even attributing it to someone else.